Right guys, welcome back, oh, as the radio comes on, to a very exciting and very last minute video. It is currently five o'clock on New Year's Eve. Martin from MJG, just give me a ring. About a vehicle that we were talking about a few weeks ago and the owner sort of said, listen guys, I'm at home, if you're interested, if you're willing to come down, come and have a look right now, come and see what I've got. So me being me, grab the camera, we'll grab the car, we'll go and meet Martin and see this thing. I have no pictures, no information whatsoever. I am gonna ask if it's for sale, obviously. I've always asked if stuff's for sale. We shall see, very excited. Apparently the vehicle that I'm talking about, the one in the title, the RS Turbo, has not been moved for around 12 years. So I'm very excited for this. This. Let's get on the road. It's chucking it down with rain. It's about to get dark as well, so I don't know how good this video is going to be, but I am super excited to see something that hasn't even been outside for the last 12, 13 years. Let's get on the road. Well, I hope you guys can see me. My windscreen wipers are making a huge racket in here today. It's videos like this, though, that I absolutely love. I love the excitement of uh, seeing something new, seeing something that maybe a lot of people haven't seen in a very long time. Sorry about the camera angle there. I don't know what we're about to walk into, though. That's that's the big thing. And, of course, because of the nature of this video, I can't give where the location is. That's the last thing the owner and myself want for the whole internet to know that this car's there. So we are going to have to keep that under wraps. We're going to have to keep the camera on me or on the car for most of the majority of the video. Exciting things like this, a barn fire. Series 1 RS Turbo. Mate, I'm hyped for this, I tell ya. We're about five minutes out. I'll reconvene with you guys in a second. Hopefully, it stops raining. That'd be nice. Right, we've met Martin. Let's go and see the car. Of course, can't show you too much of where we actually are, but... Excited! Oh, <laughs> mate. So we've made it into the garage. All right, Martin. Hello. So this is Martin's. Oh, it's not. I was gonna say it's your fault, but it's like <laughs> thank you for like giving me a ring and saying, "Oh, you mate, come down." Um, right, I'm gonna go around the car as best as I can. There is a lot of information we need to put across. A lot is happening, and we're in a location. As I've already said, that we can't really show you what's going on. We can't open the garage door and pull the car out and all that sort of stuff because it is, uh, yeah, it's just not really one of those videos, unfortunately. So we're going to do the best I can to show you around. Again, with blank number plates as well. I don't want people thinking any other things other than, oh, it's just a genuine RS Turbo. This car has got a massive story. Basically, the, the number plates especially have been covered because this car has been robbed twice in its entire life. The engine's been robbed out of it. Stuff's been robbed out of it. So the owner, of course, is very um, sentimental about this vehicle because he's had it since he was 18 so that is a another really big deal but yeah that's just one of those things but i'm thankful that we're here anyway so i'm trying to show you as much as i can we're again stood in a single car garage so i'm going to try my best to show you as much as i can we'll go right around the car a few things i did notice is uh these clear indicators which are really cool but he put them on like what was he saying like years ago we're yeah. talking Move. we're talking 20 years ago they went on but he's got the originals actually he's got all the original stuff here but he's got original indicators and stuff just there fog lights are still on it well the spotlights still on it obviously covered uh the number plate at the front original badges they've never been taken off never been changed which is quite nice coming around this side the toe and eye cover is missing because it's in the pile of stuff here but you can see how clean this car is. Like, I know I said barn find in the video title. It isn't really a barn find, but it's been definitely sat. It's had loads of, uh, you know, covers over it, rugs over it, whatever. We'll come down to just show you guys. Flat tire this side, because again, it hasn't been driven, it hasn't been used in a very long time. But original stripes are on it, original badges, which is so cool. We actually have the original orange ones of those to go with it as well, but 
just along here. This is where usually you'll find so much rot and just horrible mess. I'm gonna pop the bonnet actually. Yeah, I was gonna ask you to pop the yeah. bonnet because I haven't actually seen under here yet, but yeah. Even like scuttle panel above there, even up where the sunroof is, it's all mint. That's sort of where mine's going, if I'm honest. Mine's on its way out there, so it's very yeah. Funny. Another thing to point out, which I noticed, no antenna. No. Hole. So I can only assume, please let me know in the comments below, option from factory to have that, or it's been smoothed, not too sure. It has got electric all inside though, and yeah. the sunroof, so. It's going to be a custom, I suppose, but it just hasn't got that antenna on there, but I don't know. I'm not really sure why that hasn't got that there. We'll just have a look under here, though. <sighs> oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> very, very similar to mine, but very original at the same time. Very... Oh, look at this. It's got this on it. These are like £400 at the moment, the, the underneath of the bonnet, uh, you know, uh, cushioning or sound deadening. We're calling that kind of sound deadening. Yeah, obviously modified from many, many years ago because the owner has again had this since he was 18 years old. But even down to like the little bits are still just all original, all as they should be. Not been really tampered with too much in a sense. Obviously got boost pipes and various bits on it over time, but just having a look around, got KNN on it, look at that. Yeah, I wonder if he's got the original airbox, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I presume he would. I'm yeah. assuming he has, because yeah. he has kept every single thing that he's ever done to this taken off it. I presume he's got original hoses as well. Yeah, all down or, there. Or it had a split and it was probably cheaper to buy a Samco. Yeah, it, it would have been cheaper to, or at least upgrade it uh, at the time. Very interesting here though, to see like little bits like wax oil and stuff that's still on the car. Yeah, really, really interesting. Yeah, of course, there is a few bits, Martin's here to sort of assess what's going on as well, but a few bits of rot, I suppose. It's not really rot, though, yeah. is it? It's not bit that surface, bad. Yeah. It's nothing like you see on the internet these days, and you have to experience from other RS turbos that have been sat outside. This has been garaged most of its life, this thing, so, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I'll just show you guys up that side. Again, there is just pin straight bodywork all original paint apparently as well so interesting that it's original paint original paint is one of those things these have all seen a ditch they've all seen a hedgerow they've all seen you know an arm comb maybe at some point so to have original paint on a two owner which is what this is series one rs turbo with the owner owning it since he was 18 is mad that is mad so we'll go around this side i'll show you guys around the back because that's where the work is actually being commenced when we go past though i will show yeah i was just going to say all these yeah. drip rolls now are absolutely they are fantastic Look how lovely they are again this is a very common place that they go i'll know because mine started to not necessarily go here but you see the way you see where it collects the water it's just not very nice but yeah, everything is even, like... Even door rubbers. Yeah, that, door rubbers are just so good. Yeah. Original door rubbers. These haven't been, you know, changed. This isn't a uh, recommissioned or rebuilt car whatsoever. It's all still completely factory, which is mad. I will show you guys, though, the maddest thing. If we can get inside... I'll show you guys this. i try not to bang the door. Just show you guys inside. It's absolutely lovely in here. I mean, when I say mint, it is mint. The rear of the vehicle is, of course taken apart because i'll show you guys that in a minute but yeah seats just check the bolster here yeah next to nowhere on that bolster which is fantastic but yeah you guys can just about see was it 21 thousand miles 21 000 miles yeah, 218 i think 218 change it is just unbelievable 21 000 miles where's the original three spoke steering wheel in there as well very nice, but I will come round. We will point this bit out though. Original wax oil. Because the uh, kit has come off at the back for a bit of welding, where they all go, there's actually original wax oil and the original, what I'm assuming is adhesive that they might have used at the time. If not, it is just wax oil still on the car. So that again shows that maybe the rear quarter has never seen a paint job, never no. seen an accident, which is really, really cool. Again, I don't know facts, but that is a really good indication. Looking at the colour, it, it's almost a bit cream, isn't Which it? is what they were. Which is it's what creamy. Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. a white, creamy is it? White. So when you said about the original paint, it, it kind of ticks all the boxes that that is, you know, and you look over it, it's some kind of white on the top. It's still very cream down the side. When you said about where the 
area would have been that's still very cream there yeah it's it? not like this is a different no, color to that new, you no. can tell that that is old. how it should be it's old paint yeah yeah rear end stripped out at the moment rear light is off because the rear end is being um currently welded and just a lot of you know these bits being sorted again mine is actually gone on here it's a very common thing on these uh generation escorts so that's actually been done the other side has been done this is sort of the worst of it here but again not a, not a massive thing for something with you know twenty one thousand miles on it and two owners which is insane that's why uh this is sort of a holy grail series one at the moment with that owner's that mileage and the fact it's been garaged with what believes to be original paint it's it's definitely up there this car it's definitely up there so yeah original badges at the back even the rs turbo is actually faded you can see how faded that is because it is again an original badge at the back i am i'm smitten on this thing mate i tell you original wax oil on the arch it is lovely it's mad it's absolutely mad mate is it for sale that's the question it's, i don't think it's for sale no. i don't think it's for sale if he no. bought it when he was 18 and it's two owner, 21,000 mile. Would you, would you sell it? No, would I, sell it? I wouldn't be selling it. It would be here forever. And, and that's what he's saying. You know, it's, it's a forever car. But we will, of course, ask the question because we're silly and, you know. But what's it worth? What's a car like this worth these days? Two owner, 21,000 mile RS Turbo. It's, it's, it's definitely up there on the money. And of course, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.